What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I'm so pumped, so excited. Literally guys, it's already 8.20 right now, but I was like, you know what, let me pick up the camera while I'm just sitting around, you know, I'm not doing too much right now. I'm just kind of relaxing and just debrief, just kind of just relax and just get a few minutes to myself. Um, yesterday was actually my last day of class. That's right, like completely done. So first year of college in the books, completely done. And I can't be more happy, you know, it's, it's just crazy. Um, and I actually had something happen to me today that I'm really excited about and uh, that I wanna show you guys. Right here guys, I actually got the Angler of the Year um, this year. So happy and, you know, thankful for it. I can't be more thankful for that, you know. It's absolutely amazing. It actually came in this nice frame. You know, it's been such a great year, and um, you know, it's like to thank you know, Scad, Scad, Scad Fishing, everybody. You know, had a great year. Um, some great tournament fish um, finishes. Um, you know, great grades. Everything's gone amazing. You know, for me to actually receive that, you know, it's just absolutely amazing, and it means a lot to me. And you know, that's my goal is every year, um, the next three years while I'm here, is hope to you know, get Angler of the Year. That's my goal. You know, just to achieve it all my first year here at college is absolutely amazing. And to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't be here without you, you guys and all your support um, and supporting me throughout my journey and, you know, me updating you guys on what I'm doing to achieve this. And, you know, it's just it's just a great experience. But I actually got, like, a SCAD athletes, athletics um, handbook where it actually states, you know, all, like, the sports and uh, everyone who received the awards. So... That's actually it right there. You can see me right here. Um, where it says Angler. Angler of the Year. But, you know, that's absolutely amazing. Can't thank you guys enough. Um, it's just awesome. But let's go ahead and hop into today. So, I actually got a package the other day. And I'm uh, excited to open it. It's actually... Um, some of my good buddies um if you know helped me out before helping me out again now i'm excited to see what this is I, i'm pretty sure it's a new product and i'm so excited to open this thing so let's see what's inside of it so yolo tech my guys over there big shot to them go check them out if you guys are in the filming and the gopros go check them out actually got a hat from them Cool little t-shirt. What else we got? I do not know what those are, but maybe I can tell you here in a minute. Got another um, one of these power sticks by them. And actually what this is, if you guys saw a lot of my tournament videos, it's actually, um, this actually goes where the light goes, your backlight, um, and it, rechar it charges this the whole time you're filming. And um, got another one of these. And you know, I was using mine for the longest time. The only struggle that I have with mine amazing like it covers the whole boat it's an awesome angle only struggle with what i'm doing is like um audio but like in tournaments i don't really record too much audio um you know i'll go talk to the camera when i get a fish or you know most of the time i'm playing music over it so you know this is perfect for when i'm fishing tournaments i don't have to worry about changing the batteries i just throw a 128 gig card in there you know filming the whole time it's just great um great little product here but something new that they sent me that is really cool it's called the power light and this is this is sick you know, this is gonna <laughs> see it's dark outside. You're rigging up before a tournament. Throw this light on, plug it up, lights up the whole boat. By the way, this is not a paid advertisement whatsoever. Um, it's just an unboxing. I wanted to equip into this video. That's great. All right. One more thing I wanted to. My room's a mess. One thing I wanted to say uh, before we get on to today's video, before I go out, one more thing. Um, you know how if you guys watch our previous vlogs, if you haven't already checked them out, please check the links below um, and go watch those latest vlogs. Um, but actually, you know, last quarter I got a 4.0 in here, um, straight A's. This quarter, you know, I was working on it, I was trying really hard. I was for sure I was going to get it, you know, I had like over like a 90 at least in all my class. My lowest grade was a 90, I was for sure I was going to get it. Well, you know that project I was working on with all the mods, some fishing pole, a little fishing pole, everything like that. I was like, you know what? There's no way this teacher can give me a bad grade. Like, it's impossible. Out of 89 in the class, he actually gave me a 100 on the project. Literally, he gave me a 100. And my highest grade in his class on projects 
it was an 85. And uh, he said like, it's the only 100 he's gave out. He's like, he usually just never gives out 100s of my craftsmanship and creativity and like concept behind it was just absolutely amazing, he said. And I had one more assignment, and it was my sketchbook. Well, there's a sketchbook checklist, and I made sure to do everything to perfection. So I was like, you know what, if I do decent on this project, I do good on the sketchbook, boom, I got the A in the class. Well, I went down everything on the checklist, made sure I had everything, I mean, down to the point, 100% effort, um, just grinding it out, making everything perfect. And uh, I went to class, and he graded it and gave me a 60 on it. And I was like, what? And I looked at my final grade, and it's an 89.5. And I talked to him, and, you know, I was like, hey, dude, uh, you know, I'm just wondering, like, why did I get, you know, a 60 on this? And he's like, well, your terms, uh, vocab terms, you know, you didn't have enough in there. And I was like, I mean, I looked on the check, the checklist, and it wasn't on there. And he's like, yeah, but I still said it in class. I think it was that one of the classes I actually missed. And um, I didn't know you had to have all this in there. And when I was looking at the checklist, you know, I didn't know. And I ended up finishing with the 89.5, sadly. Um, didn't get straight A's, but my other classes, I had uh, 94, 95. So I can't complain, you know. Um, I had one class with an 89.5, and he said he wanted to boost it. And usually, like, they'll round him, but he just, he's kind of, like, strict on that. But, you know, I still have respect for the guy. Um, I mean, he gave me 100 on the project. I can't be down about that, but, you know, I still boosted my way to get this award and everything. So it's absolutely, you know, I can't complain. I tried my best, and... That's what it's all about. Always been the wise guy, always with the highlights, looking back at hindsight now. Even after every fight night, never really felt like the right time, so right now. Always live the nightlife, lost in the moonlight, never see the sunshine, nah. Always play the nice guy, damn what a nice night, baby. Look at the stars, that could be us. The world is tomorrow, was it enough? Know who you are, God doesn't judge. Yeah. One for the money, two for the show. Three, three, three's all I see anymore. One for my honey, two for my bros. Three, three, three's all I see on the low. Smoking weed, where the mountain peaks. That's a better view than the balcony. Come join me on my Odyssey. Heading to boat storage right now. I have a few things I want to show you guys that I'm going to be working on in the next couple of days. Um, I'm not going to be doing it tonight just because I want to use today to kind of, you know, relax and kind of get back to. You know just kind of chilling out for a minute since it's like you know my first day off and you know I, I just don't want to be working working myself off on this last day um, or this first day off so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be working on the next couple of days what I'm gonna be fixing everything that I'm going to be doing and I'll explain when I get there well that old man was just walking his cat back there you know every everyday things you just Sometimes you just gotta get outside, throw your cattle on a leash, and you know, walk them. It's actually starting to rain right now as I pull up to boat storage, and um, just a little thing I um, just wanna talk about because I get a lot of questions about it. You know, um, People have been asking, you know, what's my major here at SCAD, why I came here to SCAD, stuff like that. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and discuss that just for a minute. Um, my major is actually advertising, um, so pretty much like business and marketing. Um, and that's what I'm doing right now. So, you know, that's what I'm going to be studying in. Um, the reason I came to SCAD is, you know, I got, I got an amazing um, scholarship offer. So once I got that offer, you know, I dug a little bit deeper into, you know, what I'm getting myself into, where I'm coming to. Um, looked into SCAD. Um, their job placement rate was like 98, 99%. Absolutely amazing. That doesn't mean I'm going to be coming out of here, hopping into a job because I own my personal business right now, but it's always a great backup. But job placement was amazing. You know, they had a great advertising program than what I'm going to be doing. And that's pretty much the biggest reason. I mean, and the school, you know, the scenery is pretty cool around here. Only bad thing, only downside to me is, uh, you know, there's no lakes around. Uh, and the Savannah River is always cool and all, but there's no like, you know, down to down like lakes over here. So here we have it. I have a few things I need to work on. 
well, my hot foot, which is pretty much like my gas pedal to the boat, and you know, put in the gear here, either you know, front reverse gas pedal for the boat, the spring actually broke off. And this is not like a big deal, as in, you know, me running the boat. But the only problem is, say I was hitting waves and stuff, is there's not a spring on it, so it's gonna like, be, it's gonna be really easy to press that thing down. And if I'm hitting waves, you know, think about it, like my body's bouncing, and I'm gonna be like pressing that gas on and off, and that's, that's dangerous, so I need to get that fixed as soon as possible. I will get to that here in just a moment. So I've been having some trouble with my strap on my boat. I've had two straps break, I've never had that happen before, and I've been trying to figure out the reason why. Well, the reason why my straps have been breaking and stuff like that is because I actually finally found it out and it's the fact of my um, trailer hitch is actually very, 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 it just goes in and out really easy. Like I'm talking, it's not that it's not held in the place, there's not a pin there, but it's the fact that it's just really, really loose. So I'm going to have to look in to get a new trailer hitch and it's causing me to break um, two straps already. And actually this just happened, which is very bad. I've never seen this happen to any boat. I'm not, I've really never seen this happen and it's crazy. So the hook, I don't know if you can see this, that you clip the strap onto actually came out. So, um, or it didn't come out, it actually broke in half. And the reason is because my trailer hitch keeps going back and forth and it was just tugging and tugging and tugging and I need to get that fixed before I ever go out because the problem is it's drilled into my fiberglass and if I break that, that's not going to be good, <laughs> but I'm going to have a video of me coming up here fixing this stuff um, and that's what I'm going to be doing. And that is why I have all this stuff out. If you guys watched a previous vlog where I'm going to get a tool, um, I was getting a socket for the boat. That's the reason I actually dropped my socket down in here and it fell in one of those little pipes. So there's no getting that out and I actually had to take all this off to actually get to that and I'm going to be fixing that another day. And I haven't been on the river recently just because of this and you know I was trying to get a lot of schoolwork done so I haven't had time either. But Hopefully uh, soon I'll get this fixed in the next couple of days and I'll be out back on the water. Overall guys, I hope you enjoyed this little quick vlog. Um, I just wanted to talk about, you know, some upcoming stuff that happened to me today, some little unboxings, um, stuff that's going to be coming in the upcoming videos. And I'm going to start to document, I'm going to start the vlog a lot more. So if you guys enjoy these videos, please hit, please hit the thumbs up button. Please like the video, um, comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to hit the bell to send you post notifications. And also be sure to check out like Fishing for River Monsters and um, all the vlogs. I actually have all the links below and it links all the way to the playlist so you can watch any, any of the videos that you want. But overall, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. And I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Look at that little guy. Ah, <sighs> cockroaches everywhere. I think that 24 7 an understatement to my day to day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. They just say I said, ain't no way. I ain't never listened, kept them at a distance. This is for the ones who ain't afraid. And this is more than some paper chase. I wonder who else can say the same. Never worry about what they attain. If I'm living, then I really can't complain. Can't contain who you really are. I know my true colors like the same.